I'm gonna I'm gonna say it here, man. Fuck it. We're not. I'm not calling him Nagoriyuki. He's Darius Rose to me. That's the name we settled on, and that's that. Arc System Works, take notes. Y'all do what y'all gotta do to retcon it or make it canon. This is Darius Rose. The community is standing by it. Darius Rose, starter god. Let's fucking go. This is a character I guess most people had had the most pet questions about. We've seen a little bit of footage from him. Like he feels like he clocks out damage every now and then. We saw Goichi play him in the exhibition, but I think a lot of people had questions on like how the blood gauge works. We see like little things here and there we were able to take notes on, but it wasn't really like clear. So this starter guide, I think a lot of people were looking to for some answers. So I'm curious. Let's see what it's about. So the biggest thing that they do in this guide is they break down uh, various aspects of, the, of his blood state, right? So specials build the gauge. Generally, this is a character that's going to probably take people a little bit of a... Maybe it might take some time to kind of get the get, get a handle on just because compared to other cast members, he's one where you have to manage a gauge, right? So if you're beginners, you think he looks cool. I don't I, I don't I don't think he looks terribly difficult, but that might be something that you have to get over early on is managing this gauge. That's what makes him unique, that's what sets him apart. Yeah, the big things that stand out so far, very big range. You know, it looks like his attacks all pretty much are <laughs> I mean if he's standing like within seventy five percent of the screen, it looks like he's able to poke you pretty pretty safely with what say with standing slash, standing heavy slash. Those are all special cancelable too, so, you know, he can go into Fireball. It feels like a tip range might work really well for pressure that way. Kind of playing that, like, Sam Show kind of, you know, poking style, right? You can see a lot of that in some in a lot of the footage so far. To other special moves on hit or block. Using this move increases the blood gauge. So the big thing that they talked about so far is he has special cancelable specials, right? But if you remember what they were talking about with the blood gauge specials jack up that meter right so you have to be really careful about how many that you're going to run in succession like that or you run the risk of being you know bleeding out a command grab that absorbs health from the opponent he's a vampire samurai and he took slayer's move once again henny's in the chat for all the slayer players i don't i don't know what we're gonna do who what character, pl what players are we going to clown now for never blocking on wake up, always just mashing back there? What are we going to do? When the opponent is focused on staying grounded and blocking. Yeah, so that's what's important down there, right? You see, after the successful blood sucking universe, if you get the grab off, when the opponent all those specials that you use to try to get in like that, it drains the blood meter. That's the one exception so far. This character does not have a dash. But he does have a command dash, and it's a teleport command dash. So what character are we all going to bitch about never blocking now? Probably this one. <laughs> I, I say that as a, uh, you know, this is a joke, but like, with this kind of play style and with the way his meter works, I don't think it's quite going to, you know, going to work that way. The big thing too is, pay attention to how much these successive dashes build up that bar. So this is his super when he's not in blood rage mode. It can be used in Range dependent. The Your return's going to change based on that. This and then this is what it can you're going to have to play around. When you go range. into this mode, the range and damage of your slash and heavy slash normals is greatly increased. But you can't use any of your specials. That means you can't dash. That that, that He only has that special that, special that, that allows him to dash like that. Otherwise, he's, he's just kind of like a walking tank, right? So you're basically in Sam show mode, man. You got to poke it out. Poke it out. Hopefully be able to catch a full screen super, catch him whiffing something to be able to get back into the, uh, you know, normal mode. But the return is high if you if you land the hit, man. Yeah, so it seems like the game plan is going to be about managing that meter, right? You're probably going to have to mix up your approaches with how many specials you use. You probably crank up that meter a little bit. And then you might have to spend some time trying to use those slash normals, those heavy slash normals. Trying to kind of poke it out, settle down, let your meter deplete a little bit before you try to use some more specials to try to get in. Or you might see people in certain situations go ham. They use multiple command dashes into the knockdown special, into another command dash, into uh, a blood sucking universe attempt to be able to try to deplete the meter again, get the and, and be in an advantageous position like that. It seems like that's really going to be what his game plan revolves around. So I think for new players, this kind of game plan, it's something, I don't think it's terribly difficult. It's just something that might be new for you, you know? Uh, you could probably 
get a sense for the kind of poking game that you're gonna have to be working with with the with his normals because they seem very strong. I'm not sure how much instant blocking is gonna affect that, you know, based on uh, especially based on ranges. But overall, the fact that he can poke into fireballs like that, poke into a knockdown attack like that, and try to confirm. If you're the kind of player who likes to play a kind of ground game like that, then this seems like a pretty decent character for that. The, again, it's going to come down to, I think, how long it takes you to wrap your head around this meter, this character's specific gauge, and how to create a game plan based around it. But aside from that, he looks tight, man, actually. Getting a better perspective, I think, on how he moves, how his specials operate. He is by far, I think, the more interesting uh, new character to strive. Anyway, that's it for the Darius video, aka... I told you, we're, his, we're changing his name from here on. Darius Rose, he looks cool. Giovanna video is tomorrow. Check back then, and uh, we'll, we'll, have, we'll have it ready to talk about. But if you saw something that maybe I missed, let me know about it. Talk to you guys next time. Be cool. Vampire Samurai, credit to Gaimam for the character design and concept. That is something that I don't think anybody else could have come up with. At least nobody after the seventh grade. That's crazy.